to all my South Side that know me best, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Okay. Yeah. It looks like the world owes Taylor Swift an apology for calling her a snake after the full video from the infamous phone call with Kanye West leaked online. I guess she was telling the truth the whole time, and based on what the video shows, she never consented to the lyrics Kanye West said she consented to. What is gravy, friends? Welcome back to another IO video. I'm Charlotte Dobre. If you need a channel that helps you get your mind off the current state of the world, subscribe for trending news updates that don't suck, top 10 lists that cure your boredom, and daily content hosted by people you might actually want to be friends with. Subscribe, I don't have friends. You guys are my friends. All right, Taylor Swift versus Kanye West, one of the most iconic feuds in the music industry to date. For those of you who don't know why they hate each other, there's a couple of reasons. There's a couple of problems. It kind of began when Kanye West went on stage while Taylor was accepting an award, and Kanye took the mic and said, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. But the main reason is Kanye's track, Famous, where the lyrics say, for all my South Side that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that famous, I made that famous. At the time, Taylor came out and said that she never agreed to the lyrics that Kanye released. Taylor then seemingly called out Kanye during her acceptance speech at the 58th Grammy Awards with the statement. As the first woman of the year to win album of the year twice, I wanna say to all of the women out there, there's gonna be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. So, after the speech, the doth hitteth the fan. Kim Kardashian, Kanye's wife, uploaded a video of a phone call with Taylor and Kanye where it seemingly showed Taylor agreeing to use those lyrics. Taylor's Instagram page and other social media accounts were filled with snake emojis and ridicule and that led to Taylor taking a temporary break from the music industry. She came back with the track Look What You Made Me Do which made people question what really happened. Taylor touched on the controversy in the Netflix series Miss Americana but the full phone call between Taylor and Kanye has somehow been leaked on online by somebody. The footage was shared in this tweet. Basically, the whole phone call leaked, revealing Taylor Swift never consented to being called that She never lied or was a snake. She was recorded illegally and manipulated by Kanye West and everyone owes her an apology. To all my South Side that know me best, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Okay. Yeah. So basically what's going on here is, like in case you haven't figured it out, is the lyric that Taylor had an issue with was not the lyric that Kanye asked her permission to use. Kanye and Kim cut the video together so that it looked like she was agreeing to the whole thing. She wasn't. Taylor also said later in that phone call, I need to think about it. When you hear something for the first time, you need to think about it because it is absolutely crazy. Yeah. I need to think about it because I just need to like, you know, you hear something for the first time and you just need to think about it. Yeah. Um, because it is absolutely crazy. I mean, that to me doesn't sound like someone agreed to anything. It sounds like she said she's gonna think about it. Since the audio leaked, it's been seen more than 1.5 million times on Twitter at the time of this writing. At the hashtags, Kanye's over party and Taylor Swift was right all along are trending. What I find amazing about Taylor is that she used this controversy to fuel her music and creativity. She took the high road. She could have exposed Kanye. Maybe she couldn't have because she didn't have the whole video. She didn't even know she was being recorded. But the point is, she let people believe what they wanted to believe and the truth eventually came out. The truth always comes out, doesn't it? What do you guys think about this video? Does it make you regret how you thought about Taylor Swift? Does it make you hate Kanye West or do you just really not give a <laughs> Let me know in the comments. For now, I'm gonna quickly respond to some of your past comments. BG Gamer said, Charlotte, I am seeing too much of you, LOL. I feel like we're dating now. Oh man, you guys are like, eh, where's Charlotte? I don't wanna watch McKenzie, where's Charlotte? Now you're complaining you're seeing me too much? That's a fire. Hi, I'm Allie and I have no life set. I just realized gravy is a weird word. Gravy, gravy, gravy. Grave it. Grave it. It's not that weird. What's weird about it? Sheena Kapoor said, Charlotte, can you please spill some tea on Trisha's new drama? She is hurting people's feelings who are really suffering from DID. Listen, man, Trisha, <laughs> Trisha's the world's biggest internet troll. She makes an announcement and y'all freak out and like, oh, how could she ever do this? And then she comes back a month later and does the same thing. Stop paying attention to her. That's what she wants. That is it for me, and thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you guys next time.